Welcome to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. This is the podcast where we talk all things hockey, interview players, and help new ones learn the game. If you want to learn something new about hockey, this is your show. Get ready, you're listening to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. Welcome in to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. This is episode 13. So today I'm going to be talking about roller hockey and some synthetic ice rings as well. Um, there are many alternatives to the traditional ice, uh, whether that be an indoor rink or on the pond. There are many alternatives. Let's start with roller. Uh, roller is a little cheaper to work with uh, playing on a flat surface, not necessarily concrete, but but a traditional floorboard uh, is definitely a cheaper alternative to ice, and you don't need the Zamboni to go out and, and uh, clean it or just water it down, I, and you don't need to pay someone as well. Just do your thing, get off, and then you can also um, have freestyle or competitive um, figure skating with rollerblades, if that's even a thing. Uh, That is that option. Now, synthetic ice is very interesting. Um, I do think uh, traditionally with, you know, the ice, it's, it's a little easier to work with. Um, If you're skating, it's easier to stop uh, as opposed to um, roller blades where you have to kind of like put your foot off to the side and sort of like, you know, slow yourself. It's not a complete stop. Um, For the most part, roller blades have three to four to five wheels on it, uh, on them, and The game of roller hockey is almost the same aside from some checking and and a few other rules as well. Um, I don't think I'd climb over the bench exactly, at least not my first time around. I've seen the um, what a roller rink looks like, and there's actually um, not. I mean. There, there can be a bench too, but for the most part, the players are are standing um, on the side and just ready to go. There is a box there, a penalty box for teams if they commit penalties. So penalties would still be pretty much the same. And I guess, and, and you can't check too. So that is something. Synthetic guys, there's, there's no leagues for... Uh, that it is the synthetic ice um, is just an alternative. You, you'd still need to clean it, but you wouldn't need a zam. You, you just kind of have to like sweep it up and put the shavings somewhere because um, if you stop enough, you know, you're going to cut into the boards of the synthetic boards, uh, which are kind of like puzzle pieces as well. That um, that being said, uh, these are just alternatives to, uh, you know, the game of hockey. I'm still kind of surprised, to be honest with you, that I've I don't know why uh, hockey professional hockey never took off in terms of you know rollerblades. Um, I actually do find that one kind of interesting because you would just need a stick. You would need, um, and you would just need the padded shirt and chest protector, but, and I guess padded pants. Um, you, it wouldn't be the traditional hockey pants though. That is something I did notice, um, as well. Um, pants, um. there is, I'm going to just take a look at that. Uh, there, there are many roller hockey leagues, and, and you can still 
actually make money because there is it's sort of like professional lacrosse like you make like 11 grand a year uh but i guess that would just be like a part-time thing as well um there is this youtuber by the name of nasher he he does roller hockey ice hockey and and just seeing that with gopro um it's actually beautiful and it's and roller hockey really is fun as well um and I guess generating that speed is a little different than generating the, uh, you know, generating it with ice because, you know, you could still, it's easier to glide on wheels than it is on ice, I suppose. I've, I haven't rollerbladed in forever, but I would assume so because you need less effort um, because the wheels keep moving. I, I think that's, I think that would be, it would be easier um as well uh playing on concrete road is uh something else um now i do want to tell you about this little story um in kensington we had this um street stick rink um and and you could play roller hockey on it because it was an old road that was cut off it was part of this old hiking trail in Kensington, Maryland, and um, and they built a rink, a street rink, um, so some kids would play roller on this road. So playing on a road is a little difficult, but a flat surface of traditional, you know, of a traditional floorboard, um, or it, not exactly concrete, but but something what you defined at the roller rink. It could be wood sometimes. It could be some hard surface, but I don't think it would be concrete or um, gravel or something you'd find on the road. Uh, but it would, but it would be easier on your knees, easier on your feet, and and it would be smoothed out. So that is something. Now the roller pants. Uh, now that I have this up, is not anything like the hockey pants with like the extra padding, and it's like you know four inches, you know, away from your outer thigh. It's not like that at all. You wear them like traditional pants as well. Now, now, yeah, there's an elastic waistband uh, with some of these. And I'm going to look up the padding as well. And and yes, you're going to need to, of course, get the elbow pads and the shin pads and the shoulder pads as well. Um, well, actually, yeah. yeah. you Shin guards, rather, not shin pads. I don't know why I say shin pads. It, it's padding, essentially. and And it's guarding, so... And the padding goes on your leg. It doesn't matter. Um, many brands. You have Ice Hockey Warrior. There's there's enough there. So um, I actually don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, just make... Um, I still would suggest if you're going for blades the first time, um, uh, roller blades, that is, and you've never played roller hockey, like... I have, or at least not organized. I, in fact, I actually no, no. I've never played roller hockey. I've been on roller blades and skates, but I've never actually played roller hockey. What I suggest you do if you haven't strapped on a pair of roller blades in a while, um, go down to Total Hockey or go into a physical store and make sure you're getting measured out right because. Um, it's a hassle to ship it back and the whole thing, and you have to cut the plastic off to try it out. Make sure you get fitted. Make sure you get fitted. It, it's that simple. Um, and and then there is, you know, this little component that does allow you to um, be on a uh, roller. Um blade with your ice skates i don't i i don't feel comfortable with that i would rather just you have that so if it you know 
you know, if that component ever did bust or anything like that, you know, you know, that, you know, guess what happens to the ice blade or the uh, metal blade, rather. That gets damaged either way, whether you're on a street or a flat surface, that's going to get damaged too. And you don't want to pay for two things um, in the process. So get a traditional pair of roller blades and just get fitted for them as well. Or, yeah, that should be it. Um, let's talk a little bit about professional hockey. I, I've seen many things as well. There is a professional inline hockey association. There even is a professional Floridian league as well. So, national roller as well. So there's a, and there's many different leagues too. They have playoffs. They have, you know, it's about thirteen hundred dollars to join and a hundred dollars per game. Um, you know, thirteen like. Like, it costs a little bit, you know. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the official side of Professional Inline Hockey Association, the PIHA, okay? There's semi-pro, there's minor level, which is coming soon, but it's semi-pro and pro. And if you want to play in the professional, it's $1,600. Um, and, uh, and if I can look up the schedule here for this yeah perfect um all divisions east rocky mount east pro yeah let's just take a look at new jersey yeah Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so you're gonna get about um, eighteen games for about sixteen hundred dollars. It's a little less than a hundred uh, per person, but I yeah, but I think if you have like twenty guys on a team, yeah, you you can definitely cover the time as well. And I guess the owners of the league and the the owners of the uh, roller rink would get a cut of that. So that's why I think it's the price it is, um, at least with the semi-pros, uh, at least with the professionals, rather. Um, semi-pros, let me pull that up real quickly. And this is just the only one I'm really looking at right now. Um, so schedule the PIH semi-pros. Um yeah, and then there's like Aurora, but I'm gonna say, um, overall, like, like if if I had to do this again, if if there was no NHL, there was no Stanley Cup or any established league, I would certainly do roller hockey because because refrigerating this, uh, the ice, there was a power outage with one of my beer league games, um, at one of the rings. There was a power outage, um, and we couldn't play that night. Also, there was a fire at another rink here in the West Palm area, and and uh, and and they still have not, re you know, fixed that rink either because it's too costly or it's just not going to work out for them, um, or or it's just still you know maintenance issues or they they have some deal with the county or something. You know, and that's a logistical nightmare too. Roller rinks are cheaper to build. They do not require a certain level to be refrigerated. And and you could still do this up until midnight and you don't need a ZAM driver to clean things up. Just take get, just get the next group of freestylers on there too. So um so there's that. So the semi pros as well let me get down yeah let's just get down as well okay maybe yeah yeah still trying to get the screen's still loading by the way um so i'm having fun with this um 
Arvada Fire. Um, or Black Forest Thunder, yeah. I'll do Black, or, uh, I'm sorry, Black Forest Thunder. Okay. Two, all right, so two, three, four. So I think there, yeah, there's so far about 17 games here. Um, from my understanding, maybe there's an 18th, but it's still loading. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe there's 26, but I think they might be counting playoffs in this, or at least with the round robin. Um, okay, yeah, so... There's 26 here, and maybe there was more on the other one, but from what I'm counting at the end of this, it's 26 with the semi-pros. So I think it's still worth a great deal. Um, and we could def and and I may actually call a round for this because I think I'm ready for a new adventure um, as well. So there is that. Uh, and and I guess, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy to think about. Um, you know, at the end of this, that, but, but hockey's fun, and and I think I'd be good at roller hockey, but, yeah, yeah, but, um, I do want to go home, uh, go back to um, the uh, point I made earlier about what I would do if I was establishing a league. Uh, it, I don't think it would be a ball as well um but but an actual puck um it, because ice you know ice hockey would have been established it would have been a rubber puck at some point but but if it was in the days of the original six i had an opportunity to come up with something and have it compete with the nhl um and just make it the National Roller Hockey League or the NRHL or something like that, I would certainly uh, come up with with that and uh, just have a bunch of and use. Um, I wouldn't use. Maybe I would have um, uh, roller rinks, but it would be about a, the size of an Olympic rink. Um, maybe I'd use five guys instead of four, uh, just because we'd have more space too. And that's another thing. You can have more space with a roller rink over an ice rink and it's, and it's not going to set you that much back. It's maybe $24 a square foot or something like that. It, it, it wouldn't set you back too much, um, is what I'm saying. Uh, I do think if you do not have an ice rink in your area but you have a roller rink um or you can set up something uh you know i would always say set up a roller rink um as well but but it is uh, amazing the way the game is too but paying people but you know it is that extra expense and and in fiscal terms i don't think i'd put this up but but maybe I'd look at their media too. I'd look at a few things um, and just let this load once it's there. But yeah, yeah. With the um, yeah, I'm gonna go to YouTube real quickly. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. So there is. Yeah, so there is that, and and it really is almost the same game. It's just really no checking. It's a no-no. You can you can bump people off the puck, but it's it's not really anything, you know, normal too. It, it's not anything uh, out of the ordinary. There's many. There's actually it's actually a more of a worldwide game too. Roller hockey. Uh, because, you know, a place like Australia doesn't typically, you know, rank in ice hockey. Um, uh, France, it still would be easier, even though they play ice hockey there. Uh, there's that. Um, so anywhere really where there 
it's a warm climate. You can certainly do it in. There's even, um, let me take a look here. Ah, I know I saw it here. So there's also a lot of, in, in the colder climates like Denver or Columbus, you know, it's just another league too because not everyone can be on an ice hockey team. But th- this is just some food for thought too. So it's just, it's just one more thing I did want to mention today before uh, we go. And that's, um, and that's just uh, to rate this podcast. Please rate it five stars. Share it with your friends like this. Uh, download all the episodes on Google, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get this podcast. Share it with a friend once again. And I will see you all on the I would rather I'll talk to you all in the next episode of the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast.